reached at 50 miles per hour. So this is until nine o'clock tonight. A tornado warning has been issued for Northern Pickens and Northwestern Tuscaloosa counties. And while we're on the Tuscaloosa County storm, the actual tornado warning for uh, Northern Tuscaloosa has not uh, been quite as uh, in at least structured or intimidating and that's good news but we still have a tornado warning in effect until 8 30 which is about two more minutes i do not see that the national weather service is going to continue that the atmosphere across uh, just east of where we've had the tornado warnings really doing a number on all of these storms and just destroying them taking a lot of the energy out of them and that's great we'd much rather see that and in turn that's why we see the severe thunderstorm warning for walker county instead of a continuation of a tornado warning but the upper structure yeah, of the atmosphere uh that is um, that's what's helping to support the storms it's right over our northwest counties like we talked about this morning as well as during the day this would be the hot spot and uh ted we've got a cancellation of a tornado yeah. warning yeah, Winston County, you can breathe e easier. Uh, we have a cancellation of that tornado warning for Winston County. But again, uh, Mark, what you're tracking here, uh, it's starting to ramp up. Yeah, we've got um, a look at the velocity data, but let's go ahead and do the uh, reflectivity. And that right there it just tells me that this line is uh, becoming a little more structured as thunderstorms start to merge. We start to see uh, more thunderstorms become linear. And that, of course, creates problems for flash flooding. Now, there is a tornado watch, which is in effect until later into tonight and early tomorrow morning for much of central and east Alabama. Understand this is all precautionary. I'm Go sorry. Governor's okay. We have uh, Governor Robert Bentley, who is on the telephone with us. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, take a break. Let's talk to uh, Governor Bentley. Governor, thanks so much for your time and being with us today. Very active night tonight once again. Uh, what can you tell us? I know you've issued a state of emergency. Freeze up all okay. of our resources uh, across the state, okay. so that we can, uh, so that we can take advantage of the resources that we have within the state. And uh, we uh, uh, stood up the uh, emergency operating operations center here, and I'm I'm here right now in in Clanton, and um, uh, we we are trying to make sure that people are safe. Uh, we are doing search and rescue and, and, and helping those that may be stranded and, and that type of thing. But uh, obviously, uh, y'all are keeping up, and you can see um, uh, on your radar what's taking place across the northwestern part of the state. Uh, and, you know, we do have some unconfirmed fatalities, and uh, we're uh, waiting to uh, confirm those definitely. Uh, but um, uh, first, let me, let me say thank you for what y'all do. Uh, you save lives, uh, uh, you, all of you that uh, do the weather, uh, the meteorologist, and thank you for what you do. Uh, Governor, uh, this is uh, Trent Butler, also at uh, CBS 42. And, and three years after uh, April 27th, uh, everything that happened then, uh, have you seen uh, the evolution of, of how these uh, everything is coordinated? Uh, in other words, uh, have you seen uh, things change the way the emergency operations uh, uh, is run? Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, we've had a, a tremendous uh, improvement on the way we respond to natural disasters. Uh, our organizational structure is, is so much better than, uh, than it has ever been. Uh, and all across the state, we have just tremendous response. Uh, the other thing that we've been able to do is uh, we have now put into place 400 community safe rooms and 4,000 uh, individual safe rooms. And I think that will help us save lives tonight. And uh, so our organizational structure is much better. Uh, each, one, each time we have a natural disaster, and we've had several of them since I've been governor, uh, we've learned from those and uh, we try to improve. And I think that we have. Certainly, Governor uh, Governor Bentley, the, the safe rooms and getting the word out to people that those are available. This particular storm uh, that, that we've been watching since yesterday and that's done all that damage in Mississippi, for people here in the state uh, th who, who are, as, as Trent said, just a day out of the remembrance of 2011's tornadoes, for those people, uh, what do you say to them to just kind of calm the spirit tonight? Because we're going through a rough night right now with tornadoes on the ground at night that people cannot see. 
Well, it is difficult when it's at night uh, and we cannot see the storms coming, so they need to take advantage of our weather radios, they need to take advantage of the radio, and especially they need to take advantage of what y'all do, uh, and that's watch TV and, and listen to the meteorologist, uh, watch the radar, and, and be, just be uh, uh, very mindful of what's going on around them. And, uh, if, and if they do that uh, and then stay in safe places, get to safe rooms, uh, we'll save lives. Governor, you, you talk to uh, Alabamians every day as you